You know, it's not uh, often that a regular deer hunter gets uh, to document the entire story of a deer hunt or a special deer. And uh, in 2018, I was able to do that. I got a uh, daytime trail cam picture of him uh, about 12 days before the hunt. I got an early morning and then a later evening picture of him on the trail camera uh, nine days before the hunt. And then I was lucky enough that he showed up on the other side of the farm where I was shotgun hunting. And uh, I was able to get the kill on video, on actually two videos, uh, a video camera and a GoPro camera. And, uh, of course, the aftermath photos. And then finally the photo of him being mounted. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's not not a real great buck. But uh, to me it is because I shot this buck with a 1925 Winchester 16 gauge that was quite possibly my grandfather's first gun. And uh, that's what makes it so special. And the fact that I got the entire story to go along with it and the documentation is is just amazing to me and uh that just goes to prove that uh you know things happen for a reason and uh right time right place is way more important than anything else uh, like i said these trail cam pictures were on the other side of the farm uh a week or two ahead of that hunt so uh you just never know but uh i thought i'd share them with you first video is a uh, from the video camera I had mounted on the tree stand and you can see he comes in the frame he goes out of the frame and I got him stopped and I think I actually missed him and he come running back toward me and the gun jammed up I'll admit that uh, luck was on my side. I couldn't believe he just stood there the whole time I was fiddling with that gun, trying to get the shell out, get another one in. And, uh, you know, it's an old gun, so it uh, it made for an exciting exciting few minutes there uh, trying to figure out what the heck was going on. You know, the GoPro... Uh, video angle actually shows more of my actions than his but uh it was it was quite entertaining uh after it was all said and done anyway You can definitely hear the big sigh of relief <laughs> after uh, after he went down. I uh
don't know quite what to say. Uh, this deer season, I had a mission. Uh, and that mission was to come down here with a 1925 Winchester 16 gauge that belonged to my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather was born in 1910 so this is quite possibly his first shotgun and uh, I happened to come about it a couple of years ago uh, one of my uncles had it and uh, dad brought it over to me and this year I decided that that's what I was going to use that's what I was going to do uh, come hell or high water and it almost backfired um, you know it's an old gun and uh, I shot the first shot and I not even sure that I hit him it didn't really act like I hit him um, but he turned around and and I got him stopped again the j gun actually jammed I was able to get the <laughs> the shell out get a new one in he still stood there and uh, I put him down so, uh, Grandpa, <laughs> wherever you are, we finally got to hunt together, and uh, I got a buck down, not sure how big he is. Don't even care. Uh, but uh, thank you, Lord. Because it's up. This is this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about, folks. So. Uh, gonna go over and take a look and see what we got he turned out to be a, a, a decent little eight pointer uh, with some special characteristics to him so I you know I was very happy and uh, of course the last photo uh, shows me standing by the mount and that tattoo on my arm is my grandfather so it was uh, just amazing to me to be able to to put that all together and uh, and have documentation.